Hello everybody and welcome back to the Adventures in Collecting YouTube channel where we take a closer look at the toys we talk about on the show and today we are headed back to the finest of decades, the 1990s, with a look at the Marvel Legends Spider-Man the Animated Series Hasbro Pulse exclusive VHS 2-pack, wow that was a mouthful, of, uh, of Aunt May and Doc Ock. Um, this packaging is so cool. Harry Moore absolutely crushes the design here, really kind of captures the aesthetic of, of the animated series. Uh, quick tour around the windowless packaging. Again, looks like a double VHS set, uh, which is awesome. So this will fit in along with your other VHS collections of, of Marvel Legends so far. There has been, of course, all of the, the X-Men ones and now the, the Spider-Man 2 packs. This is the second, uh, the first being uh, Symbiote Spider-Man and Carnage. Uh, we have Ant-Man and Doc Ock, and then coming soon we have Green Goblin and uh, and Mary Jane Watson. So uh, really cool. We have a picture of the the figures themselves on the back. Um, this it has Aunt May has been an, a very very long time coming, and I'm glad this is the version of her that we're getting. Uh, you know, considering they've been focusing so heavily on the the 1990s uh, Spider-Man the Animated Series. Um, shouts to Ryan Ting and Jesse Falcon for finally, uh, or shouts to Ryan Ting for convincing Jesse Falcon that it was time to bring Aunt May back into the line because we all know that last Aunt May figure. All right, um, but let's get this into the light box so that way we can get the figures out and take a closer look at the Marvel Legends Spider-Man the Animated Series two-pack from Hasbro Pulse. So there you have it folks, there is Doc Ock and Aunt May out of the package here. Um, and you know, just starting with Aunt May, who's actually, I, I'm, again, I'm super excited to have this figure. Um, you're basically looking at a statue here. She's really only moving from the arms up. Uh, there is minimal to no slit in the skirt there, um, you know, for, for Aunt May. So she really is just kind of standing there. Uh, not that you need to really get Aunt May into many action poses. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, you, you can't really, uh, move her legs, uh, much, but she does stand really well, uh, you know, on, uh, on those feet. Um, she does come with the tiniest of little, uh, fists too, in case, <laughs> in case Aunt May wants to throw down, um, which is great. And then, and then of course, you know, joking aside, I, uh, you know, Doc Ock. Now I have been holding out on a, on a Marvel Legends Doc Ock. I have not bought one yet. Um, as far as I'm concerned, like, you know, uh, there are two Doc Ocks for me, personally. There's the 1990s animated series one, which you see here, and then there's Alfred Molina. Uh, those are the two that I'm interested in, in terms of, of adding to my collection. So I have skipped every other Doc Ock since, and I am, my patience has paid off because I have bowl cut uh, 1990s Doc Ock right here, and it's awesome. The bendy wire arms are great. Uh, you get two different types of um, claws here, and they are uh, swappable, so they're on little ball joints. So you get a more of, a, of an open claw, and then more of a closed claw. Um, and the as heavy as the bendy arms are, uh, he, he's still able to stand on his on his feet with them kind of flailing about. Um, I am told that if you play with them enough, uh, you can get them to kind of support him uh, standing. Uh, I was not able to, to do that, but uh, I, I, by no means am I the, the master of posing. So, um, Jay Hernandez, I'm looking at you. Uh, so yeah, but, but this is really cool. I'm also told that uh, it, with a little bit of finagling, these tentacles will pour into um, previous versions of Doc Ock. Again, I, I don't have one to show you, but uh, you know, I, I am told that while they don't fit perfectly, they will kind of uh, stay in there. So uh, really, really great uh, job on both of these figures. The colors really pop, um, you know, and, and the contrast of the two of them, you know, the, the blues and purples versus the, the yellows and greens. Um, you know, he looks fantastic with the retro Spider-Man who I uh, have out here. 
you know, they look absolutely fantastic together. Um, it's just, it's, it's awesome to finally have this version of Doc Ock. Really excited for the Green Goblin and, uh, and Mary Jane 2 pack too. Um, hopefully they keep doing like, I, I like this trend of these last two of doing like a, an iconic, you know, either new character or, or, um, or, uh, or, you know, redeco with a character that we would never see on their own. So like maybe, um, you know, Peter Parker with a camera, perhaps the animated face, that would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let us know uh, in the comments below, who do you want to see in these uh, these Spider-Man the Animated Series two packs? Who, who from the Spider-Man the Animated Series have they not done yet that you really want to see? Uh, let, us, let us know in the comments. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way you don't miss it when we post new videos. While you're liking and subscribing to things, make sure you follow us here at AIC underscore podcast on Instagram, TikTok, TikTok and Twitter, where we're constantly posting uh, videos, reveals, uh, availability, anything and everything that we think would help out the community. And then of course, the podcast. So Adventures in Collecting, you can find us wherever you find podcasts. Simply search for Adventures in Collecting or hit that link in the description below, which will take you to our website and you can find links to all of the things that I just mentioned. As always, until next time.